percussionlessons.com here with my friend Aldo Mazza. He's going to show us some djembe technique. Thank you for coming, Aldo. Oh, it's a pleasure. Take it away. It's a big pleasure. You know, it's often when people uh, approach these drums, sometimes they don't know the difference between hand technique and drum technique, getting the right sound from the djembe, which is very different from uh, conga technique. So it, it's really important. It's very basic. There's a lot of work to be done, and it's really important to have a good sound, because without the good sound, you can play all the rhythms that you want, but they'll be meaningless. So it's really important there to know that there are three basic sounds. Of course, there are many variations of it, but the three most important basic sounds are the bass sound, which is this. And you have to basically use your whole palm and the weight of your arm, not ten no tension. You just throw down the weight of your arm, both hands. You want both hands to be able to do all the three sounds. So that's the bass sound. And then the open tone, which is actually the melody of the drum, like conga, like any other instrument, and actually the most important sound. And that is the, what we call the open sound. You want to be able to do that with either the right hand or the left hand. So practice each one individually. Slowly. And the sound should be consistent. If you're getting variations, then work on work on making them sound consistent. And the same thing with the left hand. And what we're aiming at is not necessarily aligning our knuckles to the drum, but a little bit more in, inside. So the knuckle is actually on the, on the outside. It always also depends on the drum itself, the size of the drum, and, and those kinds of variations. What we want to have is have a a V formation here. So you don't play like this, because that's not ergonomic. And your, your shoulders should be down and relaxed. So there is your basic idea. And then the third sound that we want to look at is the slap. Now the slap is not a, a sound that you force. It's not a force sound or it's not attack. It's the placement of the fingers and the hands. So the fingers are very uh, open, loose. So practice the, the different sounds. You have bass, open, and slap. to distinguish when you're playing uh, the rhythms because a rhythm that is for example in a, a rhythm called casa so it's bass two open and then a slap it would be uh, eighth note two sixteenth eighth note ret eighth note and then that next eighth note that last eighth note is a slap so Uh, part of the first djembe part of the casa. So, bass. And then practice, you know, that rhythm, for example, and then make up other rhythms. Two sixteenth and eighth have two open, one slap, or two slap, one open. You know, so be able to, to speak like that, so you know ahead of time what you want to say. It is a language, treat it like a language. So learn, uh, you know, with, at least composing with those three basic elements. Of course, there's a lot more to it, but that's one idea you should explore. Well, thanks, Aldo. That was great. So this is freepercussionlessons.com. We'll see you later.